guys, good morning. New kitchen. It's 5.30. <laughs> Jared told me to calm down because it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm gonna drink this and then the first thing that I'm doing today before eating breakfast or anything like that is my morning workout. So today I'm going to be doing a hike and really work the glutes. Okay, so this breakfast is so good. This is the first thing you wanna have is two slices of Ezekiel toast. I buy the low sodium one. You can find this at Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, and a ton of other grocery stores. So if you're new to Ezekiel bread, basically it's sprouted grain bread. It's a complete protein and it's lower carbs than most traditional breads. And I honestly think it tastes even better. It has more flavor. So I'm just going to pop this in the toaster. Okay, next we're gonna go in with a little bit of, oh, my toast is ready, with a little bit of frozen fruit. I didn't measure it out or anything like that. And you're gonna put this in the microwave for around one minute and 30 seconds and we're gonna be making kind of like a jam. We're going to spread some chunky peanut butter. Chunky, I meant to say crunchy. <laughs> okay, and then I just kind of smooth this all out. I like it a little chunky because then it reminds me of jelly and it's so good, naturally sweet. And I love this because I love peanut butter and jelly. It keeps you nice and full, but your options for jelly at the store aren't great because a lot of them have added sugar. And then if you get the diet ones, then it's just fake sugars. Doesn't that look so good? I'm gonna make water before we eat that. Hi guys, so we are back. Harper is so cute. She gets in these little moods where she wants to be carried and picked up. So I'm gonna show you guys my current favorite snack. It's sweet, it's salty, it's delicious. I feel a little ridiculous for saying this, but I'm not even kidding. I don't know the correct way to cut a pineapple. <laughs> like I could cut it and like mangle it, I'm sure, but I'd like to cut it correctly, so I'm actually gonna YouTube how to correctly cut a pineapple. Pineapple is not only gonna taste better, it's gonna save you some money as well. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to cut a pineapple. First thing you're gonna do is lie the pineapple down on its side and the bottom of the pineapple. Coming out really good. Um, I should be wearing a bra for this part of the video since I have you guys so low, but just pretend I am. Okay, so now we have a good portion for a little afternoon fruit bowl snack. <laughs> take skill. You're gonna take a little bit of lime. You're gonna squeeze that on there. This was one of the first street food foods that I had when I moved to LA. I like was so obsessed. If you guys remember, if you guys were following me, mix that around all the lime juice. By the way, this smells so fresh. Like talk about clean eating. Okay, so then this is the secret weapon. Low sodium tahine. Before I moved to LA, I never had tahine on fruit. And now it's like one of my favorite snacks ever. And it's so good. Basically this is like a chili lime seasoning. So we are bringing this to my desk. And while I edit the video that's going up today, I'm going to be eating this right here. <sighs> All the dogs in the neighborhood are barking at each other right now. Help me. A few things went down yesterday after I saw you guys. So I made the executive decision. <laughs> Change this video from what I eat in a day to what I eat as a vegan trying to lose some weight. So just to fill you guys in in case you're wondering what happened yesterday. So last time I saw you guys, we had coffee, we had fruit, we had breakfast and all that. Then me and Jared went to go look at an apartment for one of my friends that's moving. Her and her boyfriend are moving here and they currently live on the East Coast. So I went there. I went there to go see the apartment just because like it gets really expensive flying back and forth and they were just here. So I was FaceTiming my friend while Jared was filming and guys he dropped my camera why dude why ah! and luckily knock on wood it's good now 
but yesterday it just would not focus like i thought that i was going to have to bring it into sammy's camera or get a new camera worst case scenario or get it fixed or i don't know but yesterday it just would not focus jared used to work in like technology and stuff like that and he was like you know what just give it till tomorrow and if it still doesn't work then we'll go get a new camera or we'll go get it fixed or talk to somebody at sammy's camera well tomorrow came and i don't know what magic he put on my camera but now it's focusing again we are picking up from where we left off and i just want to insert what i had for lunch today so i had the same breakfast and snack today the fruit with the tajin and the peanut butter and homemade jelly um for breakfast and i'm gonna show you guys what i had for lunch so for lunch i had two slices of ezekiel toast with red onions cucumbers and cherry tomatoes all nice and fresh tastes so good so much flavor and then i added a little pink himalayan salt and red chili pepper on top and honestly guys it was so delicious such a good lunch so i literally just had that um, and now I'm drinking lemon and cucumber pretty water and I'm gonna go over there and we're going to be doing the get fit with May Tuesday challenge so for today I listed out what workout we're going to be doing every month I do new challenges and I put them on my website and you can just print them out and join along and I will leave a video down below explaining the May challenge I'm gonna go jump in there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a Tuesday. <sighs> Hi, buddy. Were you watching me? And sissy. <sighs> okay, I have for you guys the most random snack ever. So, I have some, I cut up one pepper, so one red pepper. Then we also had some tofu in the fridge with my favorite seasoning on it ever, which is the Trader Joe's Everything Salt or everything seasoning oh my gosh it's so good so i'm gonna dip that in there too guys yeah, so i just got back i just took off all of my makeup i really wasn't wearing makeup today but i was wearing like a tinted sunscreen so i took that off and now i'm going to be self tanning and then i'm going to cook dinner when your day is kind of over right before you start dinner that's when i like to self tan always ask me what i use so for me i'm not picky as long as it's mousse i like saint tropez i like tanceuticals um loving tan just sent me a bunch of their tanner so i'm going to be using that one I feel nice and tan and then as for the back a lot of you guys always ask me how I do my back so a lot of times I'll just like do the top and then I'll do the bottom and then sometimes the middle like has no tanner on it but like I wear sports bras or shirts that cover that so it doesn't really matter but then like on days that I do want that I just ask Jared to do it for me and you know what I feel like you could put a tanning mitt on this thing and do it like that right this could make me cry like this is like everything I wanted to like come out here and see the babies playing. Look how cute they are. Hi guys. Okay, so now it's time to cook, but first. <laughs> So you guys know I'm really into soup right now. I think it's a really great way to eat healthy and a better alternative than just like salad. You know what I mean? So you first just want to start off with onions, garlic, and a little olive oil. I totally wasn't thinking and I used the wrong pan at first instead of my soup pan. So just disregard that. And next I'm going in with one jug of vegetable broth and then one cup of almond milk. By the way, I'm keeping everything on medium heat. If clean eating was in the dictionary, I feel like this would be the picture for it, right? Like it looks so good. Then I'm going in with some cauliflower rice, which kind of gives it like almost like a little bit of like pasta in your soup. You know, when you kind of have like noodles or pasta in soup, cauliflower rice does that, but it's a healthier, low carb, low calorie alternative to using pasta. For seasonings, you have so many different options. I just did basic, I did pink salt, I did a little chili seasoning, and then I went in with Cajun seasoning. But honestly, you guys can do whatever you want. You could just do salt and pepper too. Um, and then the last thing that you wanna do is just stir everything, let it boil, and then bring it down to a simmer for 20 minutes. And then I took a hand blender and just kind of blended it all together. You can use a food processor or a blender.
I have my raspberry cranberry LaCroix, my yummy soup, Harper. <laughs> Wyatt. Babies like watermelon. We're gonna eat our watermelon and go to bed. Good night.